back to the channel. My name is Randa and today we are going to be doing our weekly floss tube episode. I think this is number five? Maybe? We'll see. Uh, you'll see it in the title. Anyway, today is Wednesday? No. <laughs> today is Thursday the 9th. Yes, Thursday the 9th. First off, can we, can we ignore how the way that I look today? Cool? Dope. Okay, because I have been in Zoom classes all day, and so this is what you're getting. Sorry. <laughs> I did not get dolled up for the camera today. No, I did not. I'm so sorry. Uh, but you know what? Just focus on the stitching. Don't focus on me, okay? Cool, cool. Um, but like I said, it's Thursday. I've been in Zoom classes all day. I had a class this morning. I got a literal crap load of homework to do. So I, but I decided during a little break that I have, I was giving myself a little break in the middle of the day before I get started on more bullshit. <laughs> and so I decided I wanted to film this video for you guys so that I can maybe get it up for you tomorrow before it's too late. Cool, okay, cool. I have so much to talk to you about this week that I literally wrote it down. <laughs> so that A, I wouldn't forget anything. B, when I flash pictures on the screen, I'll actually know what I'm talking about. And C, so I won't forget all of the like counts and names of fabric and all so yeah, everything. Okay, so let's start, like we start every video, with a whip update. Now, I drop my scissors. Now, <laughs> I am so excited. Are you guys ready to see this? If you know... If you've been here, okay, you know exactly what this is, and you know why this is exciting for me, okay? Um, if you're not, if you haven't been here, I'll explain in a minute. Ah, look, I'm on the top half of the pattern, you guys, look! I would take it out of the hoop to fully show you because it does look really cool all laid flat, but I, it's a lot of work to put it in there, and I don't really feel like taking it out. So... You can see he has both ears now and the top of his head. Look at him! Isn't he just so precious? I think this is turning out so good. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. So I'm about this, once I complete this row, I will be halfway through the top of the pattern, which is awesome. It started right about here. So I've done, I think two and a half rows since you guys last saw me because I finished when you saw me last, I was still working down here at the very bottom half of the pattern, and I had like maybe a few more um, sections to go. So I finished those sections, moved the um, hoop up so I could work on the top half, and I've done like two and a little bit since then. Two rows and then a little bit. Doesn't he look so mother effing good? O.M. goodness. Yeah, so I have, let me pull out the pattern so that I can tell you exact numbers and stuff. Oh, and let me give you an introduction to this just in case you are new. This is the kit that I am working on. It is a kit that I got from Walmart called Busilla. The company is Busilla. The pattern is called Afternoon Nap. It is stitched on 18 count white Ada and it will be five by seven when it is complete. And that is what it will look like when it is complete. So. I've gotten past the top of the kitten head and now we're gonna get into the butterfly and the flower at the top and then we're done. Uh, this has been about a little over a month in the making. So I've been working on this for about a month and I am so excited to finish y'all. Uh, so that's that. Just in case you haven't had that introduction, there it is. And then, okay, let me look at the pattern so that I can give you the right numbers. A, look how far I've come. How awesome is that, right? So I have the rest of this row and then one, two, three, four rows after that. But still pretty much about halfway through the pattern, uh, through the top half of the pattern. And I got so excited. A, this pattern is like completely falling apart, but it's fine. <laughs> but this, look, I was so happy when I got it completely highlighted in. Oh my God, I was so excited. So that's that. Very excited to finish this. And my plans for what I'm going to do next have changed. But by the way, this hoop is from Yarnology. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I have no idea what size it is. And then this little needle minder here is a cat 
sitting in, and it looks like him kind of, doesn't it? He's sitting in a cup with bumblebees on it, and he is a bumblebee himself because, like, come the fuck on with that. And <laughs> and I got this from Galloway's Gallery, which is my favorite place to buy needle minders, just FYI. And you can see <laughs> my needle minder is hiding the giant coffee stain. <laughs> It's gonna get covered up by stitches, okay? It's gonna be fine, but until then, he covers it. You know what I mean? And I have, so you'll see on the, nope, wrong side. You'll see on the sides here, I have coffee stains all over there, but look, it's gonna go in a frame. You're not gonna see it. It's gonna be fine, okay? It's all gonna be fine. But anyway, my plans for when I'm done with this have changed. I'm hoping to finish this in the next few weeks. Um, and then my plans after that have changed. I have talked about basically trying to just do everything in the order of which I've received them, uh, because that's how I do my diamond paintings. But I decided to change it up because it's my project and I do what I want, right? Yeah. <laughs> I decided that, ne of course I forgot to bring it to show you. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. And uh, I just walked in because we have our closet is in our bathroom. And so, and that's where I keep all, we have like a big walk-in closet and that's where I keep all my cross stitch stuff. And I walked in there to find my four month old, five month old, five month old kitten in the bathtub. Guess he's chilling in there. But anyway, this is my plan for what I'm doing next. This is my Nora Corbett, it's called Raven. It's one of the bewitching pixies, I believe. I believe, yeah, I think. But isn't she pretty? This is going to be stitched. I'll pull it out real quick just to show you. This is going to be stitched on a 32 count milk chocolate linen. Very excited about it, but because I think it's going to look real good. But I have to figure out how to stitch on 32 count. So that'll be fun. I need to learn. <laughs> but I have that all. I have the floss for it and obviously the pattern and the fabric. So I'm all good and ready to go. And I will just kit this up when I'm done because I really want to do this like really badly so I'm skipping over my plans of doing I was gonna do did we scare you next from letty stitch from one two three stitch it's but it's a full coverage piece and it's bigger than this full coverage piece that I'm working on and I was just not in the mood to do another full coverage piece after this I wanted to do something different and I've been so excited about this since the minute I received it and so I was like, you know what, I'll just do this next and then I'll do the full coverage, uh, did we scare you after that. I thought that sounded like a pretty good plan. So that's that, that's what I'm doing next. Um, and that's my whip update. I'm so excited. I really am hoping within the next like two to three weeks that that thing is done, even less. Like that's, I'm hoping within two weeks that it's done, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not putting any promises on there. What I would like to do, honestly, with this background, A, I know that my whole life looks green. I hate it, but it's because there is a giant, no matter where I film, there's a giant tree right outside our window. And so the reflection from the tree is reflecting into our room and making it look green. Our walls are actually like a pretty pale gray and that door is white. It would look prettier if it were the actual colors and not green, but we're getting green. I would like to actually maybe put some cross stitches when I'm done like up on this wall so that I can have that as a background and then maybe figure out how to like bring my ring light in here and stuff so that I don't have to have it be green. We'll see but for now it's green okay and I'm sorry. <laughs> okay anyway that was my whip update. Let's talk about the orders that I have received in the last week. So orders that I have talked about in the past that I were that I was telling you that I had ordered and that I have now received. So you've probably seen all of these before if you've been watching, but now they're actually here. Here is the most exciting thing that came in in the past week. My floss buddy is here. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this stuff out of this pocket so that I can really show you. Just take it all out. This is what it, the fabric that I chose looks like. They didn't have a name or anything for the fabric, but this is a 45 pocket floss buddy. You can get them from a site called Bags Plus on Etsy. It's B-A-G-Z plus. They're all handmade by a woman. I believe her name is Corinne. Amazing woman, by the way, completely sweet and wonderful. And she hand makes these, so she sews them and they're incredible. It has a little ring here for like, I think a scissor fob, 
but I don't use those and so it's just a ring. And then I have all of my floss on bobbins and all of my little slots. And like I said, there's 45 of these slots. And then this Velcro's at the top and it's a big pocket. And so that is where I've been keeping all my stuff. So I have my pattern and my um, actual piece, the fabric, the hoop, the whole nine. I have this so I can show you guys, I keep that in there. <laughs> and then I have my little box with my needles that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got all my needles in there. And then my embroidery scissors and a highlighter. I keep all of that. Everything that I need to stitch fits right in here. Isn't that awesome? And then you've got all your floss over here. And all of my floss is labeled with the little DMC stickers um, that I also got from Hobby Lobby. I love those because it makes it look so neat and nice and wonderful. Um, but yeah, like the fabric is really soft and it's so well made and like so, oh my God, like run to go get one of the, okay, do not walk, run. Because if you are, I have a strong feeling, I've already subjected Melly to this, okay? But I have a strong feeling that if you are a stitcher, you will need one of these in your life, okay? <laughs> because, oh my God, how awesome is that? It doesn't fold or anything, obviously, because you've got a bunch of stuff in there, but really it's no bigger than like a normal size project bag. And so it just works as a project bag, but it holds all your floss nice and organized. And of course I have them, I'm missing one at the moment that I need to replace, but because I lost it somewhere, I guess. I don't know. I'm missing DMC 301 that I need to replace, um, but I have them all in DMC order. So I start with white and then I go da 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 da. There's 310, da 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 all the way up until my last one is 3866. And then because these came unlabeled, um, I have a bobbin of floss that is not labeled. I don't know what DMC color it is. I've gotten more than halfway through the chart and haven't figured out what color this is supposed to be. So it just sits on an empty flop, <laughs> empty bobbin right here at the end. I have no idea what color it is. So that's fun. But like this has made my life so much easier and so amazing. I seriously, and look how cute it is. I'm telling you, run, don't walk. I'm, that's... I will link this down below, okay, in the description box. I will link Corinne's shop so that you can go grab yourself one of these because I'm telling you right now that you need it, okay? They're expensive for a project bag, but it's because they're so good. They're so amazing and handmade and it's not just a bag, like it has pockets. Like, I promise it's worth it. If you can stomach it, it's worth it. This one was, I think, $55. And this was actually courtesy of Connie, Connie Martin here who um, gave me some money and said, who like sent me 50 bucks and was like, get something you really want. And so I got this and it is probably the best stitching purchase I've ever made. 10 out of 10 recommend, go get one. Okay, I'm done. I'm done being a bags plus rep, okay, I promise. <laughs> I just had to show that to you because I'm so excited. All right, and then my kit that showed up this week, oh my God, I'm so excited, you guys. I got the, I had the PDF and then I had ordered the fabric and the floss from 123 Stitch and everything came. And so I printed out the pattern and got everything all ready to go. You guys have seen this, I've talked about this. Oh my God, I'm so excited to do this piece. This is Autumn Lane Stitchery and it's called The Witch's Spell. Let me see if you can, yes, yes. Look at the ghoulies. Look at her, look at her cauldron. Look at the weird little stick figure guys hanging in the background. It's so creepy, but it's so cool. I love it so much, the little green ghoulies. Look at the ghoulies, I love him. I love this pattern so, so, so much. And I cannot wait to work on this. And I am so excited to have it. So here is the full pattern. It comes with a full pattern which if you had it just like on your phone, you could zoom in and just stitch from that. It has all of the, all of the list of DMC, which is not very much. And then it has the pattern like broken up into pieces so that you can actually see it, which is awesome. This is, the stitch count is 140 by 169 stitches. 
And so on 32 count, which is what I have, and I'll show you in a minute, it's gonna be 8.75 inches by 12.25 inches. So eight by 12, pretty much. So it'll be decent length. That's a pretty big, that's a good size. It's gonna be so gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm so fucking excited. Oh, I'm so excited. And Autumn Lane Citry just came out with a few new things that I've added to my wish list. I adore Autumn Lane Stitchery, okay? I haven't stitched this yet, but I know I'm gonna love this, okay? I already know I'm gonna love this. Oh my God, I need all of, every single one of their patterns that has witches in it, I need every single one of them, just by the way. Uh, <laughs> every single one of them. <laughs> so, there's the pattern that I printed out. And then I got all the floss. Look at all the greens and the purples and the, ah! It's just DMC, it's all charted in DMC. And then this was the fabric I got. I have the sticker on it, even though I wrote it down. So it's from Zweigart. Um, and it is a 32 count Belfast linen called Stormy Night. And this is a 13 by 18 piece of fabric. <gasps> Isn't that... Sorry, excuse the sticker. Isn't that gonna look so good? So good! Oh, it's gonna look so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, this was, the suggested fabric is Hades Realm by Under the Sea Fabrics, but I talked a little bit about this in my last one where you could only get a fat quarter or a fat half and my piece of fabric did not need to be that big, I don't think. Um, I could be wrong, I don't know the exact measurements of a fat quarter or a fat half, but what I knew is it was expensive. And this was so much cheaper. And so you'll see in the original picture how it's sort of like a light gray at the top and then a dark gray at the bottom. And I liked that and so I was gonna just get called for, but I think this like mottled light gray is gonna look so good, okay? I think it's gonna look so good. Um, so I am not mad at all. Yeah, and it has, I still have the sticker on it with all the information. I should probably take that off at some point. Anyway. I left it on there so that I could tell you what it was, even though I wrote it down. You know what? It's fine. Uh, let me put all of this back together. I am so excited. I think it's gonna look, I think that's gonna look so good. I really do. I'm really excited about it. So that is the kit that came in. I don't know when I'm gonna do this. I don't like have everything that far planned out, but oh, I'm gonna be so excited. <laughs> I already am so excited. And then this is how I sort of keep them because I order like literally everything from 123Stitch. So this is how I keep them until um, until I'm ready to use them, is that I print out the pattern. This bag is what the fabric came in. So when you order from 123Stitch, when you order a piece of fabric, it comes in a big Ziploc bag like this. And so I print out the pattern and put it in the bag, and then I have the fabric folded up and put it in there, and then that floss comes in that Ziploc bag and I put it in there, and then it stays like this all put together and it sits in my closet. They're all like stacked together and it sits in my closet until I'm ready to kit it up into this. I feel so like I'm an established stitcher. Like, oh my God, I feel so fancy. Um, and that's why you saw, saw it done this way with the Nora Corbett as well. Cause it's the same thing. The bag that the, um, that the fabric came in, the chart that came with it, and then the floss and the bag that it came in. Like, I just think it's such a nice and easy way to sort of be able to A, keep it all categorized, and B, you can just like at a glance, because you have the pattern sitting at the front, you can at a glance figure out what it is and everything is in there. I think it's really cool. Um, it's like so basic, but I think it's cool. Last thing that I had ordered that showed up this week was my needle minders from Galloway's Gallery. Again, like I said, my literal favorite place to buy needle minders, cause she has so many and they're so cute. And Jeanette who owns it is like the sweetest woman ever. And just amazing. The needle minders are amazing quality. The magnets are strong. They're super cute. I love them. Um, if I ever need something, I first go to Galloway's Gallery. So. I will also link that down below as well so that you can go check that out. Since I've been getting so many Halloween patterns, okay, I've been obsessed and I've ordered many, okay, <laughs> and I have many. And so I figured I needed more Halloween themed minders to go with all of these Halloween kits because I only have 
zero. I have zero. I needed some. So I got three and they all showed up within like a few days. Like she shipped out like the next day. It showed up like two days later. It was so fast and so 10 out of 10. I was so excited. Uh, and this was the first one. It's these two little pumpkins. Oh my God. I told my boyfriend when he saw this, I was like, this is us in pumpkin form. Okay. He is the one with the hat and I am the one with the wings. I don't know why, but that is what it is. Okay. He's so cute. Magnet on the back. I wish the magnet was in the center because I think it would fit there, but like, it's fine. It works just like that. Um, so cute. And then this is the needle minder that I'm going to be using. I think this is the one that, I, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using with my, uh, with Raven by Nora Corbett. <laughs> look, look at the little kitty with the crystal ball in the hat. Oh my God. And he's got a great big magnet on the back, which is awesome. Look at how flipping cute he is. I get really, that's part of another part of the reason why I like Galloway's Gallery so much is because I am weird. And when it comes to cover minders, like for diamond paintings, they can be almost anything um, with a magnet on the back. They can be 3D, they could be flat like this, like whatever. When it comes to needle minders, I feel like they need to be this like flat, plastic resin whatever this it's just plastic I think I I don't know why I just feel like the magnets sit really well on them and I like it that way if it was 3d I feel like the magnet would sit on it weird and it would make me upset like I'm very picky okay and this I feel like this is the kind of needle minder that is necessary for stitching so when I talk about needle minders I'm talking about this when I'm talking about cover minders it's everything else <laughs> I know it's weird okay I'm aware but I'm gonna use this when I kit up Raven. Cause frick yeah, right? And then the last one that I got, because, oh my God. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that. Look at him, he's a candy corn. Come the fuck on, he is a candy corn and he's a cat. Oh my God, I love it so much, he's so cute. So, yeah. Those are all the three, one, two, three that I got from Galloway's Gallery. Uh, 10 out of 10 excited for every single one of them. And yeah, those came in in the past week and I'm so excited because I get to use this one in my next kit. Heck yeah, okay? And I'll be using the rest of them for other things. Because trust me, I have many Halloween things that can be used with them. That is all in terms of orders that I have received this week. This is gonna be so much more organized because I have everything written down. It's great, okay? Okay, next I'm gonna go into things that I have ordered in the past week that I have not received. The list is a little long, okay? It's because <laughs> I now feel like Bev, where she was, talk she was talking about me in her video about how I said that like some people have grown up money <laughs> and by grown up money, I mean that you have like a full time job and you make an income and that kind of stuff. Whereas like I say, I don't make grown up money because I have a part time job. Like I'm in school, like that's not grown up money. <laughs> I don't know, but that that's the definition in my head. So it's like I had, obviously it's like I don't have to justify any purchases because if I make the money, I can spend it. And I told the same thing to Bev, it's like, I don't want you to feel like, I don't want that to make you feel guilty and feel like you have to justify yourself. And she was like, oh no, definitely not. But, but it's like, now I feel like I need to justify myself because I have a lot of orders. I had one big order that I placed that I have been planning like a big, it was a, it was expensive. Um, and I've been planning to order that for weeks. Um, and then the rest of them are like really small. They're like $10 or less type of um, orders, except for one of them. One of them was like 20, but you know, um, the rest of them are $10 or less. So that's why I can do that. Why I have so many, not because I'm just like spending oodles of money because trust me, Randa does not have oodles of money, okay? No, <laughs> but let's talk about them. So my big order that I've been planning for a few weeks is something that I've talked about on my channel multiple times. You guys know how much I love this kit, okay? So I when the start of the month came and my fun money like allotment started over for the month, I went ahead and ordered this. 
This is Bellatrix by Bella Filipina. You've heard me talk about this many times before. It is probably my favorite cross stitch kit I have ever come across in my whole life. I love it to literal pieces. It's amazing. So I ordered it. I did, I ordered it. I got that, the fabric and the floss all from 123 Stitch, of course, uh, because it's my favorite thing in the whole world. And it was charted on a 14 count Ada, which is fine. Um, and it was, but it was a hand dyed Ada and it was called Cobblestone. Uh, of course, I can't remember if it was like a Witchelt or a Zweigart or a Pictures Plus or a, I don't know what kind. And I don't know what kind this is either because I forget, but they didn't have that on one, two, three, six. They didn't have Cobblestone, but I found one called Dapple. Like the name of the fabric is called Dapple and I'll put it on the screen right here. I got it in a 17 by 25 inches, 14 count Dapple Ada. It's really like so insanely similar to the called for fabric that I think is gonna look real good. Okay, it's just like a mottled gray. Like I think it's gonna look awesome. Um, and then I, it was mostly called for in DMC and then there were uh, some like silks and stuff that I was able to find or Krynik or some, I can't remember, but it was something I was able to find a DMC conversion for. And then um, there were beads and I just didn't even go ahead with that. And then there was one that I had talked to you guys about a skein of floss that was like $6. Um, and I was just gonna kind of like suck it up and buy the one $6 skein because it was like, it was a silk and it was extremely variegated and so it wasn't something that you could very easily find a like dupe for. And so I was just gonna sort of suck it up and do the $6 skein. Well, when I went to purchase it, they didn't have that silk in stock on one, two, three stitch. And I went mother trucker, gosh dang it. <laughs> so I started looking and I realized because the, the name of the silk is Karen Water Lilies Royal Jewels number 77. That's the, that's the silk that I need for this kit. I realized that they have the color, that, that same company has the color Royal Jewels number 77, but in other forms. So in like cotton and then in like something else. Um, I hope that this is gonna be okay. If not, I'll have to, cause I feel like I saw, okay. So what I ended up ordering instead because they didn't have the silk was I ordered the Karen watercolors, which I think is a cotton. And I think I just saw a Karen watercolors on Stitch and Mommy's channel. And it was like a three ply, it was like thick. I'm worried but hopefully we can make it work. You know what I mean? I hope. If not, it was, so it was actually cheaper than the silk. It was $4 instead of six. If I receive it and it really doesn't work, I'll figure something else out. But that's what I ordered because they didn't have the silk. So um, we'll see. <laughs> if not, it'll go in my stash and I'll see if the silk is available or something. But that's what I ended up doing. The rest of it is in DMC and I'm not doing any of the beads. I think it's gonna look amazing though. I think it's gonna look 10 out of 10. I don't think I'm gonna need the beads. I think it's gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, so that's Bellatrix. It hasn't even shipped out yet. I don't know when it's gonna be here, but I'm excited. I'm like 10 out of 10 pumped, okay? Next, I got a Riolis kit. These were all purchases made within the last 24 hours, okay? I went a little crazy. Um, and I'm done now, <laughs> but it's a realist kit that I got off of one, two, three stitch, of course, and it's called Foxes in Leaves. And this is a picture of it right here. It is the first thing that I ever saved to my one, two, three stitch wish list. It's so cute. Okay. So cute. I love it. Okay. First of all, 10 out of 10. Excuse me. Second of all, it's a kit. Floss, fabric, everything was included. It was $7. Okay. I, that's fine. I can do that. <laughs> I can handle $7. And also it's just like 10 out of 10 cute, right? And it would be kind of a quick stitch kind of, and like so fun. Um, really cute to either do like a scrapbook layout or like display it somewhere. Yeah. 10 out of 10. It's on a 14 count white Ada and I'm pretty sure it is all charted in DMC. I think we'll see when it gets here. 
Um, the second one that I got, like I said, that was $7. So I was like, yeah, in cart. The second one that I got was an Etsy kit. Oh, and of course I forgot to write down who the Etsy seller was. I'll write it on the screen because I don't remember. Here's the name of the shop that I ordered this from. This is called the, it's called cat embroidery kit, but it's not an embroidery kit as far as I'm concerned. It's cross stitch kit. Um, this I'm pretty sure is coming from Russia. And so we don't speak the same language, I don't think. And so it could be like, it could show up as an embroidery kit and then I'll be sad, but I'm pretty sure it's a cross stitch kit. It comes on a 14 count Ada. Um, and it's just called cat embroidery kit. And here's a picture. It's one of the first Etsy cross stitch kits that I had ever saved to my favorites. And it's been in my favorites in my wish list for a long time. And it was on sale for $10, the whole kit. And so I just went ahead and purchased it because there was only one left and it was on sale, mine. So <laughs> I ordered that. It shipped out, I don't know, 10 minutes later, or at least she printed the shipping label for it because we all know how Etsy works. As, you know, I am an Etsy seller myself, so I know how that works. It means she printed out the label. Um, but still like 10 minutes later, she printed it out, which was like crazy. Maybe I caught her like right as she was packaging orders or something because that was insane. Um, but anyway, so that should be here someday. Very excited for that. And then I ordered some needle minders. I was looking for something very particular. I wanted a fox needle minder to go with my foxes in leaves kit because I don't have anything like that. And I want, I really, it's like that needed a fox needle minder. And so I wanted one. So of course, where did I go first Galloway's gallery? I didn't find, they had some fox ones, but I didn't find any, any of them that like really spoke to me that I really wanted. And so I started just like searching around and I found one that I really liked on Mad for Minders is another Etsy shop. And I'll put a picture of it right here. It's this adorable little sleeping fox, 10 out of 10, right? And I thought, well, is I like to do this with Etsy, okay? It's like, you're gonna have to pay shipping no matter what. So why don't you just grab a few more needle minders while you're at it? Because logic, right? So I grabbed two more from Mad for Minders. One of them is this adorable little witchy cat. Okay, I had already had this in my wish list. It's a cat, he's sitting on some books. There's a cup of something, I don't know what it is, but he's 10 out of 10 cute. Um, and he's going on a Halloween piece. One of them, I don't know what, one of them. <laughs> and then I was kind of gonna stop there because I was looking through and I didn't really find anything else that I was like, yes, have to have that. And then I, and then, and then, and then it showed up. Okay, the I have to have that needle minder is this one. It is a literal cat sleeping in a box. <laughs> Come the fuck on with that, right? He is sleeping in a box. <laughs> I had to have him. I had to have him. It reminds me of how my cat loves to sleep in boxes, okay? And it's so cute. I have no idea what kit this is gonna go with, but I needed him. Okay, I needed him. I need all the cat, I have so many cat needle minders at this point that I need to chill, but I needed him. Yeah, those are the, the so those are the three needle minders that I got for Mad for Minders. I ordered those last night, so they haven't shipped out yet or anything. They'll get here when they get here, not a big deal. Um, and then the last thing that I ordered, I ordered this morning. I'm so excited. Okay, this was my other like more expensive purchase. This was like 20 or $30 by the time it was done, um, but I wanted it so bad. This is the pattern called Witchcraft by the Witchy Stitcher. Listen, Witchcraft, as in crafts, okay, with the scissors and the, the spool of, yo of thread and all of the like, oh my God, I needed it. I was so excited when I found this. I literally like squealed and showed my boyfriend and went, which craft, oh my God, I need that in my life. And so today was the day. It's been sitting in my wish list for a while and today was the day that I decided I needed it. So it comes all charted in DMC. So I just went ahead onto one, two, three stitch and ordered all the DMC. I got the chart PDF off of Witchy, Witchy Stitchers Etsy. Um, so I have the PDF and I'll print it out when the rest of the stuff gets here. And then 
fabric was hard for me because when you look at the pattern, it says um, model stitched on 28 count color unknown. Shit. I was just gonna, I was just gonna do the called for fabric and so I was like, I gotta be creative, what the hell? But if you remember from the picture, it was like this casual linen type color. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this is a good opportunity because I think that it was kind of like, I don't know, it was it was more like a khaki color, I think. It was an interesting color. Um, I liked that, but I went, here's my opportunity to do something just a little bit different. So I did. So I, I literally just went to one, two, three stitch fabric. They have a section of just 28 count linen. I clicked on that and started scrolling. And I found this. This is 28 count Ren Cashel linen. This is a 12 by 17 piece of fabric. And I believe it is a Zweigart. Question mark. <laughs> I believe it is a Zweigart. Um, I think it's gonna look real good. It says that it is like modeled um, light beige to dark beige, which I think is gonna look really good. Um, and it doesn't clash with any of the colors. I think it will, I think it'll be just like the witchy stitchers version, just maybe a little lighter, which I am so okay with because that is more of my color palette. So I, I think it's gonna look really good. I'm praying it's gonna look really good. You know what I mean? That I think it's gonna look good, but I'm also like, because it's not called for and I didn't have a called for color to like go off of, I was just like picking a color out of thin air. I'm hoping it's gonna look good. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for orders for this week. That is all I ordered this week. Those will come when they come. Like I said, I just ordered from the Witchy Stitcher this morning. So um, I'll get it when I get it. <laughs> and then now, this is a segment that I think I'm going to be adding into every week, which is what did I add to my wish list this week? So that not only I get to talk about all the things that I found, but also I get to enable you. You're welcome. And I have uh, a whole list. So we're going to go through these kind of quickly because I haven't ordered them. They're just added to my wish list. One of the things that I added to my wish list was this. This is Mirabilia, Lady of Mystery. I found this on Down Sunshine Lane, the website. I had never seen this Mirabilia before and I immediately fell in love with her. I love the black sort of like border design and I love her dress and I love her hair and I love her face and I just love her. So she went on my wish list. The next one that went on my wish list that is going to be so unbelievably expensive and so I don't know when I'm going to be able to get it is this. This is Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. This is so cool, okay? I think it's so cool. It is all charted in silks. Absolutely not. <laughs> when I added it, I just wanted to see. I was curious. Okay, I was like, okay, with the pattern and then all of the silks that it's charted with, how much would that be? It was like $140 and that was without fabric. I was like, no. But if you go down into the whatever on one, two, three stitch, there's a DMC conversion. So I would do the DMC conversion, obviously, instead of the silks, but even so, it's going to be expensive because it is a big piece. It is charted on 40 count vintage autumn gold, and I can get the DMC conversion. It's still going to be like $70, I think, at least $70 or $80 um, one day because I love this. I think it's awesome. Uh, the next thing that I added, I've had this in my wish list for a while as well, but it was, yeah, so I don't think this was this week. It's just recently I added this. Um, again, from the Witchy Stitcher, this is The Witch is In, and it's on her Etsy shop. Is that not just so simple and so cute and so 10 out of 10? And like, so I want to hang it in my house. Yeah, yeah. Like I just pulled out today, I just remembered that I have all this like fall decor that I hung up around the house and I want to hang this in my house with it, but I don't have it, of course. <laughs> that will happen someday because that's probably like what, five or six DMC colors and like a fabric and like, yeah, I can I can do that someday. Um, but not today, because I got witchcraft instead. Anyway, that's fine because I'm excited. Uh, the next one that I saw, I saw a few. I have discovered Tiny Modernist this week, okay? Tiny Modernist 
Etsy shop. There are quite a few that I did not name here today that I added to my wish list, but this is how that it started. This is Haunted House from Tiny Modernist. I think this is so effing cute. And there are quite a few of her other like Halloween patterns that I really love and really want. Uh, but this was the first one. This is called Haunted House. I love this. I will have it someday. Someday. And then the last one that I added was one that I found from a designer that I don't think I had ever heard of before, but I saw this while scrolling through Etsy and just like absolutely fell in love. This is Halloween Spooktacular by Little Dove Designs on Etsy. Is that not so cute? Again, I've said this in my past floss tubes, I'm not really the sampler kind of person, but is that not so cute? I love it. Again, I will have it someday. I don't know when though. That is my list. Of course, like I said, I have added many more to my wish list than that, but those are a few key ones that I remember taking, that I had like taken pictures of to remember to show you guys. So, oh, my eyes itchy. So that's what I did. That is all I have for you guys today. It is 41 minutes. That is a good floss tube length. Um, I hope that you liked everything that I saw, that you, everything that you saw today that I either purchased or received. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links will be down below along with my campsite link that has my Etsy shop and my Instagram and all of my wish lists in case you are interested in going and checking any of those wish list items out for yourself. All of those are linked down below along with my buy me a coffee is under my campsite link as well in case you want to donate to the poor college stitcher fund aka me. <laughs> It is never obligated, but it is always much appreciated for somebody who is a broke college student. You know what I mean? So that is also linked down below as well. I hope you have, guys, have a great, amazing day. Hopefully you get a lot of stitching in. Um, let me know down below what you guys are working on and how your life, stitchy-wise or otherwise, is going. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. And I'll see you for next week's Women Chat. And I love you all. Bye!